was fun to be back out there, and, and the guys worked really hard this summer, and it was good to see them out there running around. They had good energy, and we're ready to roll. We got a bunch of guys in there working through, and we're going to find out you know, who the best one is as we go through camp. So today, JC was in there a little bit, RJ, AJ Turner, um, Jamie Robinson, and Shiloh right now are the ones that work today in there, but we're going to get more guys in there. We're going to find the best five and get them on the field. What does Jamie kind of bring to that position? Same thing as JC. He's really competitive. He's got heavy hands he can cover, and he's smart. He's, he's shown the ability to learn nickel and safety, and, and he, that's a good skill to have in our defense. Were you pleased with retention coming off the offseason, spring, summer work, the guys getting right back out added? It seemed like they just jumped right back into it. Yeah, you know, they worked hard. You know, we had some time last week with them, and, but they worked hard throughout the summer, I think, to stay on it. They watched a lot of tape and, and what we do so that they could be fresh today. And then the more they know at the beginning, is more advantage they have knowing about what's coming offensively that can give them, you know, an opportunity to make plays. Mm -hmm. See out of him day one and what you've been able to kind of observe so far. Really competitive, um, heavy-handed, wants to wants to do well, wants to be successful. He's got a lot of traits for a successful DB. What are your expectations for Jamias Williams? I expect Jan to be a leader. I think we all do as a staff. Um, you know, he's been in the room the longest of anyone. I mean, JT is older, but he's been here the longest. JT, right. their Jam has and. So we expect him to show the way and be the standard of this is how we operate, this is how we meet, this is how we practice, and this is how we play. Kyle, Did you mention him, him in, that site, in that nickel group? Or is he a guy you're looking at nickel? I mean, he's played in there before. He wasn't in there today, but he's an, another guy that can go in there and, and function and be really good. Jim. Uh, making people kind of remember who he was. He came in as kind of the crown jewel of that recruiting class and hasn't been able to live up to that. Do you think he's motivated by that? Jam? Yeah. Yeah, I think Jam's extremely motivated. And I don't know if that's his motivation, but I do know he's extremely motivated and he wants yeah. to be successful. And we have a group, you know, in the secondary room, period, that are all really competitive and all really want to be successful. So it's been really nice, you know, the last day and today of being in this room because they're competitive and they want to be really, really good. RJ coming in rep there and kind of be a, a leader, even though he's only a sophomore to some of those younger guys. Well, again, I mean, he he has worked really hard and he's really smart. So, um, again, it helps a young freshman coming in, seeing RJ playing safety and nickel, seeing JC playing corner and nickel, so on and so forth, so that they understand, like, I can't just learn one spot. I got to learn them all because we got a lot of good players in here and someone's going to get left out. Coach said it yesterday. Um, their attitude, their energy, their work ethic is, is contagious and it's infectious and it's taken over the room. And those two with the, some of the upperclassmen have set the standard for the freshmen. This is how we work, this is how we meet, and this is why it's important. How often do you get a guy that is as mature as, as JC was when he first came on campus? Um, I mean, he's, he's rare. Yeah, it's rare. But, you know, we got a group now. I think these guys are all pretty mature and, and are the same way. So, and again, part of that maturity comes with the culture of the room. So we have a really good DB culture room right now where we have guys that set the standard and we have guys that are willing to follow the standard. When I look at him, I think that guy's a player. What's standing between him and playing more or playing a lot this year? Well, you know, he's got to be consistent and got to keep working. And that's the same with all of them. We can't take our foot off the gas in any of them. And the beautiful thing is in our room right now, we got a lot of guys that can play and a lot of guys that have played. And so, you know, the competition's on, right. and so and they know that, and so it's across the board. Everyone, I mean, they can't. They know they can't take the foot off the gas. Uh, how, okay. When you're in man coverage, as opposed to what it might have been like three years ago when you were in man coverage, I mean, certainly it's changed. Yeah, I mean, it's changed, and, and we got a bunch of corners that we feel comfortable playing man coverage and can cover. And that's not to say we're going to play all man or right. all zone, but you feel more confident now than, than I've had since we've been here. How does that change defensively what you're able to do? Uh, I mean, I think it's, we're going to do what we can do to be successful. So if we need to play man, pull the man. If we need to play zone, play zone, and so on and so forth. But, you know, it, it does give you a little bit more options about what you can do and what you feel comfortable doing. You're in, the, in that group, and what do you kind of think you have? I mean, right now, um, Eldris Thompson, Danny mm -hmm. Fennell, um, Rosendo and Jamar Brown are all guys that can go in there and play, and they all have different skill sets. And again, it's the same thing as nickel. We're going to find a way to put our best players on the field to be successful, and some of that's determined by who we play and mm -hmm. what they do. With that linebacking core as a whole, Kyle, how do you think that group played last year? Um, I think, you know, we got to get better, and we all know that, but they competed, and, and, you know, I feel comfortable and excited about where we're going.